Gear Box Ranch Granny here today. I'm so glad you joined me. And as I promised, I'm going to give you some ideas that you can put back and cook the greatest meals. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a quick baking mix. It takes eight and a half cups of flour, four tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of salt, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, one teaspoon of baking soda, a cup and a half of instant milk, and two and a quarter cups of shortening. Now, if you have a pastry mixer, that is awesome to mix this in, but it's a huge amount. What I generally do is mix all the dry ingredients, not including the shortening, into a big bowl, and I just mix them up real good with a spoon. And then I take my food processor, and mine's not real big. It only holds six cups. So I take a quarter part of that mix and add a quarter amount of the shortening, and I turn that baby on and let it do the cutting. And I keep repeating that and dumping it in my bag each time one gets finished. Now, if you have a big pastry mixer and it's heavy duty, you can do it all together. And what you're going to do is mix it up until, and see, it fills up this bag. And it has kind of a almost like um, cornmeal. If you look, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of got texture to it. And what starts out is real white, kind of gets an ecru color. But this stuff is great. You can keep it on your shelf for about 12 weeks in this bag in a dark area if it's cool. Now, I keep it in the refrigerator and it'll last up to six months. You get this ready and you can do all kinds, oh, all kinds of things. First one I'm going to show you today, this is a chicken and cheese swirl. Now let me just show you how it looks. This is a finished product. You see the little, what looks like little biscuits on top. Oh, got a pea roll away. And inside is chicken and rice and peas. Now you can use a fresh chicken, just cook it real good and cut it up into chunks. You can use canned chicken. It's a, one of them large cans. Or you can even use the same recipe and use tuna. And it is absolutely out of this world. You're going to mix um, a cup and a half of chicken, which is what's in one of them great big cans. And one cup of peas, a cup and a quarter of chicken broth, and half a cup of cooked rice. Um, and you're just going to mix that all together, and it makes ni a nice little casserole. Put that in your casserole dish. Heat your oven to 425 degrees. Now, that's a little hotter than we do normally, but Lord, whatever it takes to get it done, right? And then you're going to take a cup and a half of your baking mix and add a third cup of milk, and it's going to make a nice little dough. Roll that dough out long like you would a jelly roll. And then take shredded cheese, put it on there, roll it up, and cut it into little half-inch sections. Once you get that done, lay those little sections on your casserole and put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is super quick. You got company company. You want something that looks good, tastes good, this is easy. And a lot of this stuff you can keep on your shelf and ready. If you have your canned chicken, you can buy you a bag of that minute rice or you can fix a batch of rice. It just takes 20 minutes. While you're getting all your other stuff ready, let your rice cook. Now to complete this meal, we're going to have a cobbler. And this is the same thing as you, you can see right here. Real pretty little cobbler. Got a beautiful little crust. So flaky and tasty. Ooh, can't wait. Put a little ice cream on that. Whoa. 
That is going to be good. And this is super easy, too. I take two cans of peaches. They're the 15-ounce cans. I drain about half the, the liquid off of them, especially if uh, you get them in a light syrup. Then I add uh, two tablespoons. Wait, sorry. Then I will add um, a half a cup of brown sugar, and I don't pack it hard, just a half a cup. Mix it in real good with those peaches. Kind of set them aside while I'm getting my dough together. And my dough, once again, we're going to use this handy quick stuff. One cup of quick mix. Add two tablespoons, pretty heaping tablespoons of sugar. And a half a cup of milk. And a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon of vanilla. Stir that baby up and it's going to be kind of fluidy. You're not going to roll it out. Put your piece, peaches in your little dish, and then just kind of sprinkle it back and forth. Once again, that's going to be cooking at 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Here's the great thing. While your rice is cooking, you can get all this stuff prepared, so you can pop this stuff in the oven at the same time. Put your hot platter right on the table. And you have got dessert ready as soon as supper is through. Oh, could you ask for anything better? Well, next week I will tell you some more recipes using this handy, quick baking mix. You cannot imagine how many recipes are out there. You may even find your own to use. But I'll work with you again next week. And remember, this is Gearbox Ranch Granny. Pray to your Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.